The English release of Pokemon 151 is finally almost here. Today, we're going to talk about all the various items that are going to be released for this set, which ones you should pick up and which ones you should pass on. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel, Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. Hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. That's right. The English release of Pokemon 151 is finally almost here. It's going to release on September 22nd, and since the Japanese version came out, there has just been the craziest amount of demand and hype for these cards, and in my opinion, it is a very, very, very deserved because this set is awesome. If you don't know what Pokemon 151 is, which you probably do if you're watching this video, but if you don't know what it is, basically it's the newest specialty set for the Scarlet and Violet block, and Pokemon 151 focuses on all the original 151 Kanto Pokemon with new arts, new cards, and the whole set features just them with some gorgeous secret rare cards featuring some of the most beloved Pokemon of all time, and that has created this massive hype for this wonderful set. This set comes out here in a couple weeks we're going to go through the entire product line list and i'm going to tell you which things in my opinion you should absolutely pick up if you get the chance which things you should eh, just kind of pick up if you see it or if it's convenient or if you really want it and which things you should probably just pass on because there's not really any value in that to have as opposed to some of the other cool releases guys drop me a comment down below let me know which card you are most excited to either buy or pull from pokemon 151. okay so let's start off with my pickup list this is going to be the list of the pokemon 151 products that I think are gonna be really good to pick up either for opening or for maybe saving for the future because they might be really coveted and might be a cool collectible item in the future. We got to start off with the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box. This is always a pickup for me, specifically because you get extra packs and you get the two promos, one of which has the Pokemon Center exclusive stamp. So with the Pokemon Center exclusive uh, Elite Trainer Box, it's gonna be $60 and you're gonna get 11 packs instead of nine packs that you normally get in an Elite Trainer Box and you get those two extra promos with all the extra accoutrement and all those fun things. And the reason this is a pickup for me always is because the Pokemon Center Exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes always sell out. As of right now, they are sold out. They did sell out pretty quick the few times that they've restocked, but every single Scarlet and Violet set in the past has restocked the Pokemon Center Exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes on the release date or right around the release date. So if you haven't been able to pick up one of these Elite Trainer Boxes, make sure you're paying attention to Pokemon Center on the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd to see if and when they restock them because they typically do. That's what's been happening in the past and that's what I expect to happen in the future again. But these are always a great product because you get the extra promos, you get the extra packs, they're fun to open, they're not terribly expensive, and I always save one because these are the Elite Trainer Boxes that in my opinion will be super collectible in the future. Now there is a caveat to this. There is one thing about the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Boxes that I'm kind of disappointed about and that's the artwork. If we look at the artwork work from when they first started doing these exclusive elite trainer boxes back in chilling rain and some of the sets after that we actually got very different and unique artworks on the pokemon center exclusive elite trainer boxes especially the pokemon go one that one was like completely different than the regular etb now what we're seeing is now that everybody wants these they're basically the same exact artwork for the most part as the regular elite trainer boxes they typically now are just saying pokemon a center exclusive on the bottom i like them a lot better when they are special and unique artworks but that being said it's still a really cool product and definitely at the top of my pickup list next on the pickup list and this is one that i don't usually put on the pickup i usually put it on the kind of if convenient is the regular elite trainer box and the reason i say that is because this is the second best way, in my opinion, to get a decent amount of Pokemon 151 booster packs without spending over $100 and you get the really cool Snorlax promo. So the Snorlax promo is a little extra benefit for me because I love Snorlax. Snorlax and Pikachu are my favorite two Pokemon, both Kanto Pokemon, duh. Obviously that's why I'm so excited about this set. So normally I don't recommend must pickups on the Elite Trainer Boxes, but for this set I'm making it a special exception because the packs are so, so fun to open and so good, and the promo is top notch in my opinion. Even in the regular Elite Trainer Box, you won't be getting the Pokemon Center exclusive stamp promo, you'll just be getting 
a regular promo, but for 50 bucks, you get yourself nine packs and the promo and all the little extras. And if you're just wanting to open a few packs, it's a great way to go about it. And I would highly recommend this, especially if you can't get the Pokemon Center exclusive one, just get this one. Don't spend, you know, a hundred dollars on the exclusive one. Just buy this one and you'll be happy. Okay, next up is the product that I think is going to be the best and the hottest product for Pokemon 151, and I'm gonna explain to you why. So next up on the list of you must get, and there's gonna be places that you can find these. A lot of places these specific items are already sold out on pre-order because people are so excited about them, is the Booster Bundle. Now the Booster Bundle is a relatively new product. I think the first set that the Booster Bundle was released with was Silver Tempest, I believe. I believe it was Silver Tempest. It was either Silver Tempest or Lost Origin, but I think it was Silver Tempest. And the thing that's cool about the Booster Bundle is it's just a box with six packs in it for the price of six packs MSRP. And that's cool. You're not paying a little bit extra for promos or coins or jumbo cards or anything like that. And typically this booster bundle isn't that big of a deal. It's like, okay, every set you can get this, but here's what's so special about the booster bundle. Pokemon 151 is a specialty set. Typically with specialty sets, there is zero ways to buy things that just have only packs in them. So like when we have something come out, like we had Obsidian Flames come out, you can buy single sleeve booster packs and you can buy booster boxes where you can go to your local game store and buy single packs out of the booster boxes. Specialty sets never have things like that. They never have the booster bundles. They never have the booster boxes that you can go to the LGSs and buy single packs. And they never have the single cardboard blisters hanging up on shelves where you can buy a single pack. You always have to buy some type of a collection box. For the first time ever, Pokemon is releasing booster bundles on a specialty set. That means this is the only product that's out there that you can buy something and get just booster packs for the price of the six booster packs MSRP. In my opinion, this is going to be the best Pokemon 151 product simply because if you just want packs, this is how you get packs. Now, like I said, a lot of places are gonna be sold out of these. This is gonna be a hard one to get. Depending on how stocked uh, Walmarts and Targets are gonna be, we're seeing uh, Walmarts and Targets and big box stores like that getting stocked a lot more. I do expect this will be probably pretty popular, but we're gonna see a lot of this inventory get pushed out over you know several months. So the booster bundle is definitely something that I think is worth getting. Is it worth paying a ridiculous amount of money for one? No. If you can get the booster bundles at MSRP, I think that's a fantastic deal and you should absolutely do it. But if people are gonna try and get booster bundles and flip them for 40, 50 bucks, which may happen because there's a lot of dumb people out there that flip Pokemon cards that don't really understand Pokemon cards, I would not do that at all. But if you can get your hands on a couple of these at MSRP, or you can buy yourself a case at MSRP and just be like, that's all I'm opening for myself is the case. I think the booster bundles are a fantastic product because this is the first specialty set that we're seeing booster bundles in, and it's the first specialty set where you can buy a product that's only booster packs, and that makes this product an absolute 10 out of 10. Next up on the list of things from Pokemon 151 that I think you should absolutely get is the Pokemon 151 Mew Ultra Premium Collection. This product is really, really cool. And I have to preface, I do not believe that this product is gonna go absolutely insane like the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection did. Now it's worth like 400 bucks, you couldn't find them anywhere. I do not think that's going to happen with this product. That is my opinion, take that how you wanna take it. But I do not think this specific Ultra Premium Collection for 151 is gonna go absolutely crazy like that. That being said, I do not think it is gonna be as widely available and constantly in stock as the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. I don't think it's gonna be as crazy as that. I don't think you're gonna be able to find them for 80 bucks all the time, you know, stuff like that. I think this Ultra Premium Collection is gonna be somewhere in the middle. I think it's gonna maintain MSRP, maybe a little bit more expensive than MSRP, and you'll probably be readily easy to find it. There's plenty of places that you can go and you can pre-order these Ultra Premium Collections right now for MSRP or under MSRP. I think this is a fantastic product and it's a home run product that you should absolutely get your hands on at least one of them if you want it. Might be something worth holding on to. I might buy an extra one to hold on to. I don't know, I'm definitely gonna buy one to open. And the reason you wanna open one of these is because the promos in it are just absolutely stunning. So if you get yourself a Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collection, uh, it's gonna be MSRP of 120 bucks. So the Ultra Premium Collection, the Booster Bundles and the Elite Trainer Boxes, they all release on September 22nd, which is the release date. So you'll be able to hopefully find all of these 
in most of your stores. But if you get the ultra premium collection, what you're gonna get for your $120 MSRP is you're gonna actually get, I think it's 16 booster packs in this. Yeah, 16 booster packs uh, of Pokemon 151. That's a bunch of booster packs. So that in and of itself is awesome. 16 booster packs, that's like almost half of a booster box. You're gonna get yourself the 16 booster packs and you're gonna get a really cool play mat. It's a Pokemon 151 Mew play mat that in my opinion is honestly, it's fantastic. The kind of background design of all the different Pokemon on it. This is probably the best play mat that has been released with ultra premium collections or you know different type of premium collection products in my opinion uh it's got the stitched edges i believe it's gonna be a very very premium play mat the play mat alone is probably worth about 20 bucks just for the quality of the play mat itself so you're gonna get your 16 booster packs you're gonna get your play mat and then on top of that you get all the extra little silly goodies in there and you're gonna get three really 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 cool promos so you're gonna get the mu ex gold promo that is actually a metal card. So that'll be kind of like a display piece. You can't actually play with it, but it will be the Mew EX golden promo metal card. Then you're gonna get two cards that were secret rares in the Japanese set that were actually pulled and put as promos. Some people are happy about this. Some people are bummed about this, but you're gonna get the Mewtwo art rare, which is fantastic. You got Mewtwo hovering in the air, looking down, really really cool card uh we gave away 10 booster boxes of pokemon 151 well we didn't give them away we sold packs for one dollar on drip uh and we actually only pulled i believe one mewtwo out of all 10 of those boxes that was incredible doing that on drip by the way come hang out with me on drip every wednesday night we do all kinds of fun stuff you can go to the link in my description you can download drip they'll give you a 15 dollars coupon off your first 30 dollars order it's a lot of fun but out of the 10 boxes that we've opened and i opened one box for myself uh, so i've opened 11 boxes we only pulled one of those Mewtwo's. Well, that Mewtwo is actually going to be a promo in the UPC, which is very cool in my opinion. Some people are upset because it's like one less chase card, but for me, I think it's super cool. And then we're also gonna get the Mew SAR EX, beautiful Mew sitting over the town with the sunrise fantastic card and it's a promo which is really really cool this is a gorgeous card i have not pulled this card out of the few boxes that we opened and i think for these reasons the ultra premium collection is going to be something very 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 nice very nice to have very worth the 120 dollars msrp or even less there's places out there that you can get it for like 114 115 bucks on pre-order right now so you get the really cool three promos you get 16 packs, you get a nice play mat, you get some other goodies. I think this is definitely a good product to pick up if you're wanting something fun to open with a lot of cool extras in it. It's definitely a home run product. Now, should you go out and buy a whole bunch of them and sit on them? I don't really think so. If I was gonna pick a product from this set that I was gonna be like, I'm gonna buy a case of this and keep it sealed and just save it, it would be the booster bundles. That would be my opinion. I don't know that the ultra premium collections are gonna be the move. I think, like I said, it's gonna be somewhere in between the Celebrations ultra premium collection and the Charizard ultra premium collection. That being said, in my opinion, it's definitely a pickup product. There's a lot of value in there for your 120 bucks that you're gonna be very happy with the promos that you get with the play mat that you get and then you got 16 packs so out of those 16 packs you might hit three four five really nice cards definitely a home run product and if you're wanting a safe place to pre-order any of these pokemon 151 products or order them when they come out or pre-order some of the paradox rift set that is going to be absolutely fantastic you got to check out pokeyany.com if you use the link in my description to go to pokeyany.com and you order anything you can order some you know 151 you can pre-order some paradox rift you can get yourself some korean booster boxes or Japanese booster boxes. If you use the link in my description, you'll get a free booster pack with your order. Helps you use a really great store, helps me, and it helps a good family-owned store that really cares about their customers. So check out pokeyany.com for your Pokemon needs, English, Japanese, Korean, and use the link down in my description to place your order. Okay, now we're gonna move on to what I call the meh. Yeah, you pick these up if you specifically really want this product, or if you see it in a store and you're like, I wanna open something and I don't mind getting that. That's this category. I call this my meh category, my pick it up if convenient category. If it's something that you really want or if it's convenient for you, you should pick it up. And these are the things that I'm probably not gonna get. I'm not super jazzed about them. You might be, and if you are, that's awesome. But the first thing that's in this meh pick up if it's convenient for you category is the poster collection. So there is a box that releases on September 22nd and it's $15 and it's a poster collection. And it's not bad. You actually get a two-sided poster, which the artwork on the posters is really cool. This is 
the one that like, if you really, really want the poster, you're definitely going to want to grab this one. But you get the poster and you also get three promos, which aren't bad either. And with those three promos, you get three packs. So you, there's a little bit of value. You know, you get a poster, you get three packs, you get three promos for 15 bucks. It's not like it's a product that doesn't have value or that it's a bad product. It's just something for me. I'm not interested in a poster that's going to be folded up. The promos will probably be cool. This is something that if it's like I'm at the store and I just want to open something that I haven't opened before and I see one for $15, I'll probably probably snag it just so I have something fun to open, but I'm not going to pre-order this product. I'm not going to go out and, you know, specifically seek out to buy this product. I think it's okay. I think it'll be fun, but not a priority. And if you are wanting to get this, definitely get it. But that's my opinion on this product. For me, it's just a, if it's convenient and I want something, I might pick it up. Next up on the pickup only if convenient list is going to be the actual binder collection. Now, this is a product, again, it is decent in my opinion. And there's reasons that I'm not going to get it, and for you, it might be something that, oh yeah, that's a reason why you really, really want it. And if that's the case, I think that's awesome. But just for me, this is just a, uh, it's not for me type of a thing. And it's gonna be the binder collection. So we have the poster collection coming out on the 22nd. And we also have the binder collection that's coming out on the 22nd for 25 bucks. Again, not a bad value for the binder collection. You get four packs, which is great. And you get a full on nine pocket binder with the Pokemon 151 logos on it and everything. And it's probably a decent quality binder. It's not gonna be anything like, you know, one of these over here that I, you know, that Pokemon's released in the past that are zip up and stuff. Probably not anything of that quality, but it'll be something decent and, and you know, safe to put your cards in. So if you really, really want a binder that says Pokemon 151 on it, or you know you want a binder period, maybe you don't have one, maybe this product makes sense for you. 25 bucks for a binder and four packs is a great deal. There's nothing wrong with that deal at all. It's a fair deal. Uh, and you know, typically a binder in and of itself can cost you anywhere from 15 to $20. So since I specifically use the binders that zip up and those are what I prefer, I I'm not gonna go after this product because I have no need for that binder. Again, that doesn't mean it's a bad product, but for me, it's not a pickup. And this isn't something that I would even pick up if I saw hanging out, uh, unless my kid was like, oh dad, I really want that binder, then then I'd, okay, I'd get it if, if you want it for the binder, right? So for you, you might want it and that's great. But that for those reasons, this is a product that for me is a pass on. You might love it, but it's not for me. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. It's a great way for you to support the channel and it's absolutely free for you to do. Next up on the mad list is the Alakazam EX box. This this box actually releases in October 6th. So this will be like in the second wave of releases. It doesn't release September 22nd. It's gonna release a little bit later. The Alakazam EX box, again, not that it's a bad box. If you want the promos, it might be the exact perfect reason for you to get it. But if you're not interested in the promos, there's not a lot here that really gets me excited. So the Alakazam EX box is gonna be a $22 price point. You're gonna get four packs with this and it's gonna come with an EX card, which is a unique printing, I believe. You can't actually pull this EX card from the set. So if you're somebody that wants to do like a true master set, one of every single card that's available, you'll need the EX card, you'll need the promos in here. Uh, but that EX card is a special, you know, a special cool printing of it. In addition to that, something that's actually kind of cool is you actually get a foil Kadabra and a foil Abra card. Now, the reason the Kadabra is so cool is this is the first set in like 20 years that Pokemon's actually been able to make Kadabra cards, but you know, based on some legal issues that were going on with, I think it was a magician named Yuri Geller. That's all been cleared up, and now Pokemon can produce these Kadabra cards. There is one Kadabra card actually in the set, and looks like there's a foil version here in this box. So for that, that's actually some of the cool aspects of this box is you get those foil promos and that EX card is kind of unique printing. So if that for you is something that really makes it worth it for you, you might as well grab the box for 22 bucks, get your four packs, maybe get lucky and hit something cool. For me, I'm not crazy about Abra and Kadabra and Alakazam. They're not my favorite Pokemon. I'll be happy with just what I can pull from the packs. So that's what makes it kind of a pass for me. But for you, that might be awesome. But that is a only pick up if convenient for me item. Uh, and it's not bad, but it's just not for me. Next up on the convenient if only list is the Zapdos EX box. Now the Zapdos EX box also releases on October 6th, I believe, uh, with the same price point as the Alakazam EX box of 22 bucks. So it's not terribly expensive. And like the Alakazam EX box, you get four packs with this, but you're also gonna get a big old jumbo sized promo. In my opinion, I don't care for the jumbo promo. Some people love them, they're not my thing. 
and you're gonna get two other promo cards. So you're gonna get an Electabuzz promo, which is cool. I think it's Electabuzz. And then you're also gonna get a Zapdos EX promo, which this is one, I'll give you a caveat. I'm gonna get this promo. Now, if it's because I pick the box up because I see it in the store and I just want the promo, or if I buy a full on set of them, I'm not exactly sure. But the EX promo, this Zapdos EX promo is actually a really, really nice promo in uh, in Pokemon 151. It is kind of similar to the Alakazam uh, promo from the Alakazam box, and that it's a unique printing. You can't get exactly this artwork out of this set. You can get the Zapdos EX that is functionally the same card from the set, but you can't get this exact artwork from the set. But this card seems like it actually might be pretty darn powerful in the TCG, or it could be pretty good in the TCG. Uh, it has the ability of Voltanic Float. If this Pokemon has any electric energy to attach to it, it has no retreat cost, which is kind of cool. And then Multi-Shot Lightning does 90 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it, plus 120. Seems like a pretty powerful card. So there might be reasons there to pick up these if you want the specific artwork. But again, you'll be able to pull this Zapdos EX from the set, which is functionally the same card. It's just not gonna be the exact same artwork. So I guess technically, technically this is an alternate art for the all intents and purposes of, you know, the artwork being alternative to what the regular art is. But these type of collection boxes where you get four packs and a bunch of promos, they've never really been my favorite thing. The price point on them is just a little too high for the pack to price ratio. When I'm buying products, the main thing that I want typically are the packs. All that other stuff really isn't anything special to me with the caveat of the really cool promos that you get in ultra premium collections and the really cool promos that you get in elite trainer boxes now with the Scarlet and Violet Era, which I think is an incredibly positive change that Pokemon's made to the elite trainer boxes, making sure you get a promo in every box I think is fantastic. That being said, that's why I don't buy a lot of these boxes, these special, you know, these collection boxes like this. And I know a lot of people out there absolutely love them. A lot of people really enjoy these boxes. So for me, this will be one that I pick up if I see it and I'm like, you know, I kind of, I think I do want to build some decks with that Zapdos. I'm going to go ahead and grab it because then I can just get the card and maybe I'll get lucky on, you know, maybe I'll get lucky on my packs or something. So this will be one that I actually do pick up if I see it and it's convenient, but I'm not like, I must have this product. I'm going to go out of my way to get this product. That's kind of my opinion on the Zapdos EX, but it comes out in October for 22 bucks. Alrighty guys, we are moving on to the pass list. The products that in my opinion, there's really no reason to buy them unless you just want them. I'm not gonna buy any of the products on this list and I don't recommend buying them unless it's something that you specifically want. And if you do want it, then that's totally fine. But this time around for Pokemon 151 and in this episode of Pick Up or Pass, there's only one item on the pass list for me. And that item is the mini tins. And there's a very specific reason the mini tins are on the pass list for me. So we all know what mini tins are. It's those little tins that come and you get two packs inside of it and you typically get like a coin and an art card and that's about it. And typically with specialty sets, these are usually the only way that you can get just packs for really close to MSRP. It's usually how it is with specialty sets. But like we said earlier, Pokemon 151 for the first time ever, they're doing booster bundles. And in those booster bundles, you get six packs for MSRP. It's like six packs for 26 bucks and some change, something like that. And because you can get booster bundles for Pokemon 151 now, it makes the mini tins that usually are the best way to get just packs at close to MSRP and specialty sets, that makes the mini tins not the best product for that anymore. It actually makes them kind of, in my opinion, the worst product of the entire lineup. And so I won't be picking up any of the mini tins because I'd much rather have booster bundles. And you know, it's gonna be two packs, a coin and an art card for $10. So we're at $5 a pack and that's over MSRP. And so in my opinion, you know, 50 cents on every pack. Well, if I buy 10 packs, you know, then I could have had another pack. That's kind of how I look at it. And the mini tins are gonna be a pass for me with a caveat, okay? I will I will say one caveat. There is something kind of cool about these mini tins. It's not cool enough to make me wanna buy them. It's not cool enough to make me wanna try and collect them all. But one of the cool things about these mini tins is the coin that comes inside of them, instead of being a Pokemon on the coin, this time around, the coins are all of the uh, all of the nine different types of energy plus a colorless energy. And I think that's actually really, really cool. The only one that's missing is fairy energy. I think it would have been really dope if they would have included a fairy energy in here, but you will have 10 different coins that you can get. And I believe a case of these mini tins is 10 
tins. So, oh my gosh, tongue twister. So I'm curious if you buy a case, if every single tin in the case is gonna have a different energy coin, that way you could potentially collect all of the coins. I know there's a lot of people out there that collect these coins. And you know, I think this is really cool. You can look at the graphic and see, there's a grass energy, a fire energy, a water energy, a light, an electric energy, a psychic energy, a fighting energy. Uh, we've got the darkness energy right there that looks a lot like a water energy. We've got the metal energy and even a dragon energy, which there's not actually a dragon energy but then there's a colorless energy right there and i really think adding a fairy energy would have been cool but i'm curious if you're going to get each one of these energy types uh in each different tin and if like a whole case of tins would give you the entire set of these energy coins so even though this product is a pass for me i'm not going to be buying any of them i can look at this objectively and say hey that the fact that they're including energy coins is really cool i, I think that's a nice little spin and a nice little touch that makes the product super fun. And if for people that, you know, say, hey, Dr. Applesauce, I don't care about your opinion. I want the mini tins. That's awesome. And it gives like a little extra something, something in there. Uh, and it's a little something extra collect for people that, you know, there's all kinds of collectors out there. And there's a lot of niche collectors that collect only this or collect only that or collect whatever. And there's a lot of people that collect all the coins. And there's some cool coins out there. There's some really cool and limited coins uh, that are worth a few bucks. Uh, and I think this is a really cool part of the mini tins. We don't see them do this very often. It's usually the same one or two Pokemon throughout the tins. So this is actually pretty darn cool. I, so I will say with that caveat, even though I don't recommend buying the mini tins, if you can get booster bundles, I'm not gonna buy any of the mini tins. I will say that these energy coins that are included in them are super, super cool. I wish they'd have just included a fairy energy because that would have been really cool too. And that's my pick up or pass list for Pokemon 151. Guys, drop me a comment down below. Let me know which product you are the most hyped for to pick up for Pokemon 151. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Again, smash that thumbs up button. Absolutely free for you to do. And it helps the channel so, so much. I'm really excited for Pokemon 151. This is the first set that I'm gonna go for a master set since evolutions. You see a trend here, the last set that I did a master set, Evolutions, was a Kanto Pokemon set for the most part. And the next one that I'm gonna do a master set for is a Kanto Pokemon set. I'll be going for a master set of Pokemon 151. Let me know if you're gonna do that down in the comments below. I, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm very, very excited for this. Make sure to hit up Pokeini via the link in the description. If you wanna get some boxes, you can get Paradox Rift, Pokemon 151, everything there. If you use the link in the description, they give you a free booster pack with your order. This is gonna be fun. Pokemon 151 is gonna be dope. Tune in to Drip Shop Live and my Drip streams on Wednesday nights because we're gonna be doing some Pokemon 151. And if you liked everything that you saw here, my friends, check that video out too. You'll probably like that one a lot as well. And like I always say, find somebody to love and serve today. Be the change you wanna see in the world. See you next time.